Last weekend, the United States took down a Chinese surveillance balloon that was flying across the continental U.S., but it isn't the only concern the U.S. government has with China. Yes, tensions are only continuing to rise. WUFT's Chris Will joins us now with what Congress is doing to address what they see as security c threats. Chris, what's been going on? Yeah, among the controversy of Chinese balloons flying above the United States, Congress is discussing a bill that would warn users of the risks that come with using TikTok. The United States is in a tense standoff with China after a balloon was shot down for suspected spying. The balloon floated over U.S. airspace for about a week before it was taken down. You guys have to help me understand why this baby wasn't taken out long before. The situation reintroduced security concerns between the U.S. and the Chinese government, including the Chinese-based app TikTok. The app has been banned from federal government devices and some states are even taking action. The University of Florida sent an email to students and faculty discouraging the use of the app. UF electrical and computer engineering professor Christoph Bobda says the data that TikTok collects could be exploited by the Chinese government. Obviously it makes sense um, for a lot of us on why you know government officials shouldn't have that because they may have sensitive information on their devices. Yeah. Why is it a risk for the everyday person and even people here in North Central Florida? Why is it a risk to them? You don't want your data to be out. So I just take the case of social security. Yeah. If somebody has your social security number, this person can file a tax return under your name. We don't know what you become in five or ten years. Maybe a politician, maybe a governor, maybe a president, and then a foreign government have access to your former data about you, and they can exert some pressure. After the uptick in concern, Florida District 3 Representative Kat Kamak introduced the Chinese-owned applications using the Information of Our Nation Act. The Caution Act requires anyone selling an app that the federal government has banned on government devices to disclose that fact to anyone who downloads, updates, or otherwise uses the app. What many Americans across the country view as an innocuous social media app filled with fun dances, filters, and trends is in fact a method by which the CCP is collecting information on all users. Bob just says the implementation of any ban on a local level would be difficult, but a nationwide ban is certainly on the table. CAMAC's proposal passed the House Committee on Emergency and Commerce's subcommittee on Innovation, Data, and Commerce. The bill heads to a full Energy and Commerce Committee markup later this Congress. Okay, so Chris, the question I have now is, how can we protect ourselves from this type of thing? Yeah, well, first of all, you might want to get rid of TikTok. That's probably the first step. But then Bobda tells me that it's important to kind of follow all the best practices. Don't click on links and emails you aren't expecting and avoid suspicious websites. And Chris, does this only apply to TikTok or does it follow through with other social media yeah, apps that's as a, well? Yeah, that's a great question. Honestly, th that's one of the concerns that I had with these social media apps. But I think when I was told is that you need to be cautious with all your information, no matter where it goes online. Um, but the important thing about TikTok is that it's in China. And China has a lot of pressure and leverage over those companies and data that's stored within the Chinese border. Thanks, Chris.